Right, hello guys and welcome to today's video and today's video isn't going to be anything really to do with black ops cold war in, in a slight sense it will be all i'm going to be discussing is about why you yes you 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 watching this video might be part of the reason as to why we are not getting a current anti-cheat for warzone and black ops cold war it's not as prominent in black ops cold war but it's still there you know people do use aimbots etc and you're probably thinking Taz, how can this possibly be my fault? I don't make the game. I don't control whether there's you know, an anti-cheat in the game or not. And you're right. That's absolutely right. But I'll get into that in just a second. But first of all, what you're seeing in the background is a 63 and 12 game with the Milano. As you can see, I think I was leveling it up. So I've got some goofy attachments on it. But yeah, enjoy that in the background. And let's discuss why some of you out there in the community might be the reason there is no anti-cheat currently for Warzone and Black Ops Cold War. Or at least not a very good one at that. So, currently, the biggest topic in the community right now is the amount of cheating, hacking, whatever it is, in Warzone and kind of Black Ops Cold War, but mainly Warzone. It's ruining Warzone tournaments for Black Ops Cold War. It's more so in the pro scene, if you follow Compare over the moment, the uh, AM scene, which is like the amateurs who play the play in the competitive scene, have a lot of cheats in it, you know, and some people don't know if they are cheating, some people don't know if they, are, they do cheat. You know, these people aren't getting, like, kicked out of these tournaments because it's very hard to tell sometimes but yeah so basically there's a lot of cheating going on you don't know who's doing it you don't know who is who's you know who's legit anymore who isn't legit you just don't know so it's happening in cold war for like the pro scene and stuff and it's happening in warzone in these big big money tournaments on top of you know all the things people are doing to like get around skill based matchmaking etc but we're not here to talk about we're here to talk about the lack of energy and the reason why i believe some of you might be contributing, especially the people who are complaining about the lack of anti-cheat, is, I'm going to sum up for you guys like this, let's put it this way. Why would Activision make an anti-cheat when currently, Warzone's one of the most talked about things in gaming right now. Even the talk of it just not having an anti-cheat brings people, you know, to know about Warzone, and at the moment, what is everyone doing? Everyone's streaming Warzone, everyone's playing Warzone, Everyone's buying the new bundles for like Warzone, Modern Warfare, Black Ops Cold War, you name it. So why would Activision go out of their way to spend any sort of money when realistically it doesn't change their income at the moment? Their income's the same. They're making the same amount of money regardless of if there's an anti-cheat or no anti-cheat currently. Because again, the people you know play Warzone, again, I don't play Warzone, that's why I do sit here and kind of like leave myself out of this. And yes, I do play Black Ops Cold War. But currently, I rarely run into cheaters, and I think half the reason there's hardly any cheaters in Black Ops Cold War is quite simply not a lot of people are playing Black Ops Cold War compared to playing Warzone, and where a cheater is going to go that's going to, you know, annoy people the most, you know, the, the trolling aspect, it's going to be more likely in Warzone, you know, especially with how annoying it is. Uh, some people, you know, are trying to get, like, insane world records and trying to disguise the fact they're cheating. You know, there's a lot of people like that. Again, we've had loads of people who have been streaming with cheats on, you know, hiding the actual cheats by doing some crazy thing where, like, you can't actually see their cheats, but they can, they can see their cheats. You know, it's that crazy of a thing at the moment that you've got people who are streaming, who are doing YouTube, who are doing Twitch, you name it, making YouTube videos, who could be cheating, who could be using hacks, aimbot, you know, and sometimes it's just really hard to prove. At the end of the day, if they're using wall hacks and, you know, they're smart about it and don't make it too obvious, it's very easy to hide that sort of thing, and if you've seen the videos of like people showing how these hacks work and that, you'll understand how easy it is to like just disguise the fact that you know from being a good player to being someone who uses wall hacks. And like again, there are players who are so good that they look like they're actually using wall hacks, and they're actually legit. At least we think they are. You know, you don't know at the moment. You have no idea. The only people you can even count on to being legit are the people who were good before this whole cheating thing. So those who were good at like Black Ops Three, Black Ops Four, whatever. But yeah, the amount of cheating going on is just through the roof, and everyone's crying out for an anti-cheat. I am too, you know, I would prefer an anti-cheat. I don't play Warzone because, unfortunately, I run into these cheaters a lot, and like I said, I think I discussed this in a video a long, long time ago. I think it was titled something like, Why I Don't Upload Warzone. It is quite simply, I, I quit playing Warzone because of the amount of cheating, you know? There was no point in me trying to get, you know, cool gameplays for you guys, and to just have 9 out of 10 times you know, it'd be a good game, but then I'm in like a lobby where someone's cheating. Just that one guy out of 150 people, 149, and it's just one guy cheating, you know? Because I play solos, so it's a bit different for me. You know, if I played squads, maybe it's a diff bit different. But then again, you, you know, you've got to rely on out of 150 people in the entire server, not one person to be cheating. And at the moment, 
they're not really being detected. It doesn't matter if you really report them. There are people who are sitting there level 1000 doing this cheating and stuff. It's just through the roof the amount of cheating. But currently, we have people, you know, crying out for anti-cheat, begging Activision for anti-cheat. You know, we're seeing clips of streamers just swearing their heads off, raging at Activision for not implementing an anti-cheat. And the, the, the problem is, they're kind of contributing to the problem, which is, no, they're not cheating. But the point is, they're playing the game. They're streaming the game. They're helping Activision basically promote the game. And the more things they end up spending and using and showcasing whilst, you know, dealing with all this cheating, the more people are going to sit there and watch and spend and play the game. And there's just no reason for an anti-cheat, you know? Again, we all want an anti-cheat. I would want an anti-cheat. You want an anti-cheat. Everyone wants an anti-cheat. But if you guys keep playing the game, and again, I know it's hard for me to sit here and tell you guys to not play a game. Like, if you enjoy the game, that's fair enough. But sometimes you got to make those sacrifices. There's no point sitting there playing the game knowing that, oh, there might be a cheat in this lobby. And then you sit there in the lobby, you get killed by the cheer, because then you're going to go to the gulag. And you, this is the crazy thing as well. Some people just sit there, you know, play the gulag. And then, like, I get it's cool. You want to be that guy. Like, I, I've done it myself when, like, there was cheers in my lobbies. You want to be that guy who takes out the cheer, because they're not unkillable. I've never seen anyone have, like, an infinite, you know, be a, uh, like, what is it, have god mode. I don't think that's a thing with this, but it's just aimbot wall hacks and stuff. And you want to pull off that cool play. You want to kill the cheer. Now, I've killed a few cheaters in my time, you know, very little, because again, it is extremely difficult when someone's using like aimbot wall hacks, you know. But I have killed cheaters in Warzone when I was playing, and it is a cool feeling. But we shouldn't have to deal with this, you know. It shouldn't be up to us to do some crazy play, go out of our way to like use a riot shield or something to stop them from killing us through walls and stuff. Yes, there should be an anti cheat. But I'm telling you guys now, and it's kind of just a message to anyone watching this video or the community out there if you guys want change, you got to not play Warzone. you got to not stream Warzone, you know? And again, I know that's difficult. I know that's easy for me to sit there and say, you can't play your favorite game mode. You can't play your favorite game. And again, I'm mainly talking about Warzone because it's not a big problem in Black Ops Cold War. I rarely run into cheers. Yes, it is an issue. Yes, like I've discussed in the competitive Call of Duty scene, currently the amateurs are having to deal with a lot of people cheering because basically in their scene, they used to play console all these years. And now they have the ability to be able to play on PC. So all the pros are going to switch to PC, obviously. Amateurs alike as well. Because, again, every single frame, every single advantage they can have, you need to have it, you know. If you're playing against someone who's playing on, like, 60 FPS or even the 120 FPS app, someone out there is going to be playing up to close to 200 because they went and bought an expensive PC. So all these pros, amateurs and that, have went and bought PCs and stuff. But they're obviously... With that comes the fact that there are people cheating, and when there's a lot of money on the line, like there is, for instance, with the Warzone tournaments, with Black Ops Cold War, with the amateur scene and stuff, people are going to cheat. And we've already seen it many times through Twitch rivals, through Warzone tournaments, through the competitive Call of Duty. There's a lot of cheating going on with the amount of money involved. It's a lot of money involved. And it is not an excuse. I'm not sitting here saying, you know, the Activision can get away with this because they shouldn't. They should have definitely made an anti-cheat by now like if they're making all this money they should make an anti-cheat it's, it's just as simple as that but the reason for that probably is the fact that people are playing streaming and just overall giving the game viewership that is this going to make mean activision you know looks at their game and sees their sales you know their revenue and stuff i believe there's a thing coming up soon about how much they're going to discuss like how much profit they're making and i i wouldn't be surprised if it was a you know in the millions getting close to a billion sort of revenue because too many people just stream and play the game and buy the cosmetics. So, yeah. Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Do you agree with my point? Do you think people should start, you know, kind of not playing the game, start giving the game viewership? Because otherwise, you're just not going to get an attitude in my opinion. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe. Subscribe notifications on. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.